Welcome to another edition of my Fireside Chat. Each year, Delta State's Career Services Office hosts a wide variety of programs that prepare our students to enter the workforce and to help them connect with potential employers. For example, the Career Services Office hosts 11 different career fairs on campus that are open to our undergraduate and graduate students. In addition, they host resume workshops, post jobs through our Statesman Connect website, as well as host workshops on business etiquette and interviewing for a job. This year, the office has created a new program called the Passport to Success. The event is open to all juniors, seniors, and graduate students, and it will be held this year on April the 12th from 1.30 to 3.30 in the afternoon at the H.L. Nowell Student Union, second floor, East Lobby. At this event, students will have the opportunity to create professional LinkedIn profiles, get top quality headshots for their LinkedIn profiles and resumes, receive resume assistance, and learn about the best ways to search for jobs or internships. The goal of the program is to help our Delta State students enter their careers with confidence. Joining me today to talk a little bit more about this is Davlin Miller. Davlin is the director of our Career Services Office, and we are glad to have you with us today. Thanks for joining me. Thank you. Tell us, if you will, a little bit about the overall goal and the focus of your office, Career Services. Uh, the Career Services Office is tasked to basically help students enter the workforce the best prepared as possible. Uh, a lot of people think, well, that's what they're going to classes for, but there's more to that when you're talking about students and pre preparedness. Uh, what we handle uh, is resume editing, interview preps, professionalism, a lot of key elements or more soft skills, if you will, for students to be the most productive in the workforce. So that's basically what the Career Services task is to do. What is your advice to students who are juniors, seniors, or graduate students on the reasons that they should attend this event? Uh, it's because just those particular things, getting those elements in that's outside of what they're learning in the classroom and being prepared and polished for the employers that they're, they're potentially seeking. What are the, what's in it for them? What are the incentives that you have out there for them to come other than potentially a job mm -hmm. that they could be placed for at some point? What, what sort of encouragement do you give to them to come and be a part of this? Uh, for this particular uh, Passport to Success uh, event, which is actually a joint effort between ourselves and the National uh, Alumni Association of DSU, um, we have two, we'll be raffling off two scholarships, uh, two $500 scholarships to students to participate and complete their LinkedIn profiles, as well as we'll be raffling off a Yeti Hopper Cooler. And we have some other departments on campus that have some things to do with graduation that will be there. And they have some other, uh, <coughs> other incentives for students to participate. Uh, one key one is that today is the last day for registration for uh, regalia, uh, but next week it will actually be late. So if a student or, or a senior or graduate student who wants to register late, instead of paying the late fee, if they register at the actual event this week, you'll, their late fee will be right, waived. So that's a plus, gotcha. definitely. Now, I mentioned a few things that are the purpose of mm -hmm. this event. Uh, Tell us a little bit more about some of the hands-on, the advice that people will get, that students will have benefit of. Okay, so we were learning over the, the course of this past year, just in trending uh, sake, is that a lot of employers are starting to look at students' professionalism and those, and basically what their social media presence is through LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. uh, with that being said, myself and the alumni office come, came together to figure out a way for students to learn to be professional in that regard, more social media centric uh, outside of the normal just relaxed efforts of Facebook and Instagram and so on and so forth. So uh, students will be able to get more uh, of a detailed experience of how to transfer their resumes to a LinkedIn profile, how to basically present themselves professionally. Uh, a lot of students have never had a chance to take a professional headshot. So there are a lot of different things that we're going to be focusing on that they're not used to, to being focused, focused on during their, their educational efforts here. That is the great. Issue. Now when our students come visit you, Davlin, mm -hmm. in your office or you meet with them in a, in a fair setting, uh, what's the top one or two uh, priority item that you tell them? in terms of preparing beyond the classroom mm -hmm. for a career. What, what's the good advice that you give them, the one or, top one or two nuggets? My biggest thing is to get involved on campus with student organizations and philanthropy work. Uh, and another big thing is interning. 
Uh, interning is part of how a lot of employers are shifting to hiring, as well as it helps students figure out exactly if what they're majoring in is exactly what they want to do. Because uh, we know from data that typically people stay in a particular career if they're happy with it and it aligns with what their personal outlook is. So uh, we definitely encourage them to intern in order to make that process better for them. That's great. Well, thanks for sponsoring this program. Thanks yes, for supporting our students. And no thanks problem. for joining me today. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. No thanks problem. a lot. Yes, sir. In other news on campus, the Delta State University Colloquia Distinguished Speakers Lecture Series will continue on Wednesday, April the 12th with guest speaker Dr. Lou Ann Woodward, Vice Chancellor for Health Affairs at the University of Mississippi Medical Center. Dr. Woodward will speak on the topic of health care in Mississippi, what you need to know. And we encourage everyone at Delta State and in our surrounding communities to come to campus to attend that event. It will begin at 6 o'clock in the auditorium at Job Hall here on campus. Also, the IDEA Lunch Series will continue on Thursday, April the 13th at 2.15. IDEA, I-D-E-A, stands for Inclusion, Diversity, Equity, and Advocacy. And this session will provide an opportunity for Delta State students, faculty, and staff to hear from Christian, Muslim, and Jewish faith leaders in a discussion about faith and college students. The event promises to be a great discussion. The event will take place at the Novel Student Union on the second floor in the East Lobby, and it's free and open to the public. And just a reminder that the campus will be closed uh, on Friday, April 14th, for the Good Friday holiday. Happy Easter weekend, everyone. Uh, to keep up with all of our news, our activities here on campus, just go to our website, deltastate.edu. And thanks again for joining me on Fireside Chat. We'll see you next time.